dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, good morning. It's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Hope all, all of you are having a fantastic day today. And I wanted to talk a little bit about an upcoming six scale piece. Uh, this is from our friends at In Art. Now, In Art is an offshoot of Queen Studios who does high end statue collectibles um, and busts and things like that. But in art is a six scale figure uh, uh, collecting company. So it's very, very exciting because they have been producing some really incredible stuff and it is uh, up to the ante, up the game, if, if you will, from Hot Toys. Hot Toys is the well-established maker of six scale, uh, well known. Um, I feel like at times they have been a little complacent over the last couple years and so this has actually woken them up a little bit and they've started producing even higher quality items. So it's a win-win for all collectors uh, that uh, love to collect this stuff. And this is a Henry Cavill Superman that they're coming out with. Um, they originally showed it, I think, in July, and they've actually tweaked it, they've updated the portraits, and I think they look really fantastic. And so I wanted to share um, you know, what this looks like with you guys, uh, kind of a reaction video, hit or miss, if you will. And uh, in case you hadn't seen it, I thought it was really cool to talk about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the photos. All right, guys, so let's dive right in. And again, this is the Henry Cavill Superman 1 6 from In Art. And these are really, really well done. Everything that they've done so far, I've been really impressed with. And really, it'll come down to the head sculpt. And we're going we're gonna to take a closer look at that here in just a second. But I think it's really well done. Um, I'm amazed by these companies and how talented, truly talented their artists are to be able to capture these characters and make them look like real people. Like it is just, it blows my mind. Uh, we've come so far over the years and this is another example of that. Obviously there's gonna be two different portraits. You're gonna have an angry and you're gonna have that classic Henry Cavill portrait. Um, but look at the suit. I think it looks very, very good. Uh, I do not claim to know if it's 100% accurate or not. But from just what I remember from the movies, I think it looks really good. Um, obviously, there's going to be some Henry Cavill love here because we're not going to get him as Superman anymore. So maybe the opportunities are going to be less and less to get items of him. Um, but look at that portrait. I think it's phenomenal. And they actually tweaked it. They actually revealed this back in July. And they've tweaked it a little bit and made it look better. I think that looks phenomenal. I think that's one of the best Henry Cavill portraits. Sometimes it's hard to capture him. And I think that they really did a great job. Same thing with Christopher Reeve. You know, you see the same thing with him. Like, it's just hard for companies to really capture him truly. Um, Harrison Ford's like that as well. But there's just certain actors that are a little difficult. But I think that looks good. And I think the angry portrait looks really good. This reminds me a little bit of the um, the Infinity Studios bust, um, the angry bust. Um, but I think the portraits are really, really spot on. I think they really nailed it. Um, and there's going to be sculpted hair here. Um, but there is a rooted bangs, basically. They say rooted bangs. So it's going to be real hair in the front, but sculpted in the back. So I, I don't know if anybody's ever done that before or not, but I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, the price point on this guy is $399. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot uh, for a six scale. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, you might be able to find it cheaper depending on what retailer you order from. But that's that's the price, $399. Um, I, I, I think that they've really upped the game. I think that they've made Hot Toys up their game, and it makes it better for all the collectors, obviously, which I think is fantastic. Um, it gives collectors variety, it gives collectors choice, and that's what this uh, you know community is all about, is being able to pick and choose what you love, and uh, a lot of great options. And of course, they keep you know offering offering better and better products. Oftentimes, unfortunately, though, at higher cost. But it just is what it is. Um, a lot of great accessories, add-ons with this one, which is great. Um, the back cowl is really nice. And they also have this really cool zipper system um, in the back that's uh, hidden behind the cape. And again, the cape can be posed, you know, flowing or straight. But it's kind of got this thing where it mounts to the zipper and it kind of has him hovering. So I thought that was pretty interesting uh, the way they did that. I don't know if it's magnet or what that is, but, you know, it's, it's cool. And again, really what sells it for me is the portrait. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously you do have the neck seam uh, there a little bit, but this is a six scale. So you're going to have that. It just is what it is. But I think the portrait is spot on. I think it's really, really well done. And I'm just very, very impressed overall with what I'm seeing with this one. And again, it really does come down to this right here, the portrait that looks to me 100% like Henry Cavill. I think they absolutely did a fantastic job. Again, $399 though. Um, there is links down below if you're interested in ordering it. Uh, I'll put that in the description, but uh, I'm definitely curious as to what you think about this one. 
So what do you guys think? I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Um, I think the portrait looks really, really good. I think it looks like on par with some of the life-size busts that we've seen, um, and maybe even a little bit better. Um, I'm really, I've really been impressed with what in art has done. I love what they've done with the bases and some of those things. They've been really creative. They've thought outside the box, and obviously other companies like Hot Toys has, has noticed, and now they're doing artisan editions also and things like that. So it's really exciting. Um, I'm, I'm just really happy for collectors that collect this stuff. I don't collect six scale, um, but I think it's awesome because again, it just ups the ante, it makes the product better, and it only benefits the collector and obviously the companies as well because they've been successful in selling this stuff. So everybody wins. It's always awesome. I love it. I love the positivity around it. So anyway, I just want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of the sculpt? And is it one that you're considering picking up? Because I know Hot Toys has done a Henry Cavill. Does this up that one? Let me know in the comments down below if you've had that piece or if you're considering this piece in general. I will put the links down below if you're interested. That does help support the channel. So as always, I thank you guys for that. And uh, just thank you for watching. I always appreciate this, guys. I can't take, I thank you enough for your continued support here on the channel. Uh, I love each and every one of you. Continue to be good to yourself. And uh, just stay positive, guys. I know there's a lot of negativity out there. Stay positive. And uh, like I said, take care of yourself. Be good to yourself. That's all that matters. Thanks for being part of the community. I'll see you in the back. Hey, bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.